Tonight we're celebrating some of our state's most outstanding environmental leaders. Nine award winners who have distinguished themselves through their innovative spirit, profound dedication, and willingness to put in some good old-fashioned hard work. They're leaders who understand it's our job as Texans to protect the air that we breathe and the water we drink, and to teach younger generations the value of protecting our native species and ecosystems. The Oceans Program at Corpus Christi's Flower Bluff Intermediate School has been teaching just that for more than 25 years. Through interactive lessons, science teacher Cliff Strain makes learning about marine science compelling, enriching, and fun. Cutting edge teachers are another reason Texas is home to some, so many of our innovators, including Houston's Glasscraft Door Company. When Glasscraft decided to start manufacturing fiberglass doors, they took a big risk, rejecting the industry standard process of finishing doors in favor of a water-based method. That risk has paid off, not only by reducing emissions, but by producing a better door. Now finally, as an Eagle Scout myself, it's my honor to join you in celebrating two young men who use their Eagle projects to help protect our natural resources. Connor Crow worked with scientists to preserve the Georgetown salamander, and Archer Hadley worked with the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center to help preserve the native Texas ash tree by collecting their seeds for future use. Our state's a better place because of the hard work of Texans like Archer and Connor, and all of the winners that we celebrate tonight for that fact. Anita joins me in congratulating each of you for all the work you do to take care of our beautiful state. God bless you, and through you, may he continue to bless the great state of Texas.